I was asked to share how to embed emails from Photoshop Elements. And if you're in the editor, you would need to click right up here on the organizer. And it will take a moment to load. So I have it already loaded here for you. And then click on the uh, share button. And at, on the share button, you're going to see it says photo mail. So click on that. And it's going to tell you here to drag and drop the photos you would like in your email into this spot here. And so I have some photos already in the organizer that I'm just going to drag some of them over. And uh, three is good enough for now. And then I'm going to click the next button. Then right here in this space is the message that I want to send. They have one here pre-made for me and I'm just going to leave that for right now but you could retype your message. You're going to uh, select your recipients. If you need to create a new contact you would do that through here by clicking on this little icon of the uh, body and it's going to bring up the contact book. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not restarting the video today. <laughs> and then you're going to click the uh, next button and it's going to bring up the stationary and layout wizard. <coughs> and this is kind of fun. Um, it's a little bit different than just embedding an email in Outlook, which I might share with you how to do later. But right now you can see that this frame is um, a light blue. You can uh, click over here uh, to change the frame colors, um, change the sizes. Uh, no, there's I haven't been in here in quite a while. Here's some... Uh, other frames. Here's a baseball themed one. And they previously, I don't know, there used to be a way, oh it's customized right up here so I'm gonna just go ahead and choose this frame one. And you can see here you can uh, write a caption under the photos to let the person know what's going on in the photos and there's all three of them and then you can do customize this layout I haven't been in here since um, I worked with Photoshop Elements 3 oh, next step is to customize the layout and here's where you can change the background color it's currently gray so if I wanted to make it you know yellow I could do that here's the changing the size of the photos if I want them to be much smaller or larger um, you can change the layout. Uh, currently I think there, there's three down but maybe I wanted them to look more like this with the caption to the side. You can play with those. Change your text color. Let's say I wanted a different color. Now it's purple. And um, the frames currently have drop shadows but I could take that off but actually I think those are kind of fun. Um, here are your border colors. Oh, change the, uh, it gives you four options. And then you can click next and let's see what it's going to do. Right now I have my little spinning wheel cursor letting me know it's working. I don't generally use the organizer a whole lot because mainly for this problem if you don't have enough RAM oh there it came up if you don't have enough RAM it's going to uh, take a while it came up behind here let me make it smaller so it fits on this recording screen for you to see it came up in my default editor which is Outlook Express with the to field already filled in and the subject line 
and the photos and then I could just hit send and it will go on out and that is kind of cool and kind of fun uh, you cannot get frames and drop shadows and captions that easily using a, any other type of program that I'm aware of anyway and so I hope this helps uh, you understand how you can embed emails with Photoshop elements and I hope you have fun with it.